Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Christine and we are putting together a two ingredient bagel. Believe it or not, it's delicious. You can zhuzh it up how you want. We're going to be adding a little bit of seasoning, everything but the bagel seasoning. So I just thought I'd show you how to put it together. So come on with. Okay, there are really not a lot of ingredients to this obviously. So I'm gonna start with the dry ingredients, which is just almond flour. So we're going to do two cups of almond flour and this is the blanche, just kind of the normal stuff that you can buy in the store. I do make my own, you'll have to check that video out. I'm trying to use this up um, since I bought it. I had quite a few recipes that were calling for it. And the other item is the Greek yogurt and this is the strained Greek non-fat, um, plain. That's the big deal, is the plain yogurt. So one full cup of that. So it's two cups flour, the almond flour, to one cup of the yogurt. And then you just kind of meld it all together. So once it starts turning into more of like a dough consistency, you're getting close. It takes a little bit of effort to get it all mixed together, but that ratio is good. It's the two to one. Just make sure that you're using the plain, because once they start adding flavors, then they start adding a whole bunch of different additives to it. So, all right, look. It is looking like dough exciting. All right, so I haven't added a thing. So the trick is you need to kind of roll it out and we're just going to pat it out with our hands because you it's really hard to actually roll this dough. So let's see what we can do here. We've got a pan that we're going to be baking on. Okay, the trick is you're going to roll it kind of into a log. And you just do that with your hands. Just kind of smooth it out. It rolls and, oh, here's a little bit left here. It rolls really nicely and easily. You just got to have gentle hands. Kind of make sure that it's even. I want to get, let's see, I want to, let's see, I think there's six pieces. Okay, meanwhile, I have my oven preheating. And it's kind of like, you know, like bread. You just have to kind of play with it until you get the consistency that you want. And these are fun little mini bagels. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let me just make it a little more round. Oh, there's the oven, it's ready. Okay, and then I just have my bench knife and I'm just gonna kind of cut into pieces. So there's going to be a skinny one at the end. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of flatten these out into bagel shape. All right. Actually, let me wash my hands quick. I want to get this pan sprayed so I can put them out on the pan. Okay. I'm going to get these sprayed out onto the pan. I don't know if you've ever used one of these. It's just one of those mistos and then you just fill it with whatever oil, like this has avocado oil in it right now. And you just pump it. And I'm spraying it pretty generously because I'm not wanting it to stick. But here we go. Here's the first one. They don't spread or anything, so you can just be, you can just put them where you want. All right, I hear ya. Okay. So let's pat it down and put it on. Actually, I want to pat it down on the pan. 
There we go. That works a little bit easier. And you just make them into bagel shape. How fun are these? And I'm going to have two smaller ones here at the end. And where does the hole come from for the bagels? You'll see. Okay. I think they're all pretty. This one's pretty fat. I'm going to flatten this one out a little bit more. Okay. All right. Well, there's the hole for the bagel. <laughs> you just put your finger in the middle and be creative. And that's it. That's my trick, at least. All right. And then the oven is ready, so let's get these in the oven. And we're going to bake them. I think it's between 15 and 20 minutes. So at the 15 mark, I'm going to check them. Okay, there's about five minutes left. I'm going to zap. Oops, there's my timer. Hey, Google, turn off timer. And I'm going to bop these out real quick. And I'm going to spray them down and add my seasoning. And like I said, I'm just doing the everything but the bagel seasoning. Okay, nothing real major, but they're homemade. All right, let's get these back in till the countdown. Look how great these look. Just a little bit of brown on the top. And we're just gonna set them down. Let them cool. And you'll just, won't even believe your eyes at how great these are. Ooh, this is the big one. Big. I'll probably just end up sampling this little baby one. So, okay, I'm gonna let them cool totally. Looks like they've been cooling long enough. I just want to show you the bottom. It looks great. These are still, the thicker ones are still pretty warm. So I'm just going to cut this little baby one and then we'll give it a test taste. And then you can kind of see what it's like inside. It's so fun. I mean, it literally looks like a bagel. Almond flour and Greek yogurt. Delicious. All right, let's get to test tasting. Okay, friends, now for the fun part, the taste testing. So I'm going to taste the bottom part first. You saw how easy that they cut open. And the bottom looks great. I did sneak a bite. I mean, you just would never know that there's no real flour. There's no yeast. There's no this. There's no that. Two ingredients, so easy. I actually, I don't have cream cheese right now, so I just put some butter on. And I'm gonna just try the top part that has the seasoning. Very good. Mm-hmm. So, what did you think? You can actually do so many different things with these. You can actually make them um, with cinnamon sugar as well to sweeten them up. I mean, kind of the sky is the limit. So just follow the base recipe, the two ingredients. You can put egg wash over the top of them. You can, you know, to really brown them up and make them shiny. And I mean, just play with it. It's so fun and just use your imagination. So if you like simple recipes like this, uh, I do water bath canning, dehydrating. I make jerky, but I have a, fu a fun playlist of five, four, three, and two ingredient recipes. So check those out. And thanks for stopping by my little channel. And if you like videos like this, hit that like and subscribe. And I will see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care and God bless. And I'm just gonna finish this little bagel up here before anybody knows. Believe it or not, two ingredient bagel. I swear by it, we love them. You can zhuzh it up how you want. And the cat is making noise. 
one just tastes like a bagel on the top part that has the <clears throat> excuse me that has the seasoning well that was gross I gotta start over <laughs> oh boy 